Chapter 11, the base of stillness. The Buddha mind never moves. The karmic mind is always changing. Dissolve self mind into enlightened no mind. The true gods have no ill will. A demon is ill will. But neither ill will nor non ill will is selfless true mind of itself. Mind is empty of both good and bad will. Formlessness is true mind. The mind beyond mind is empty full mind. Diamonds and pebbles are equal. The perceived is material. The perceiver is space. What is, is necessarily what is not. Everything is mind, being, awareness. Mind is empty, is void and transcendent. Concentration, insight and awakeness are within the nature of emptiness which is the absence of conceptualization of a doer and a deed. Whose thought is this? When the mentality of self has ceased to exist, once attention is utter stillness, when one reaches such stillness, one enters the hot bliss of Dhamma. Dhammata Dhamma's nature of equality vividly experiences emptiness, non-duality, realization, and no mind. Skill is to be ingenious and discerning, whereas knowing is to see into reality. The no thing whatsoever, zero, present, emptiness, suchness, dharmata. Calm the body-mind and extend heart awareness into irreplaceable emptiness. Calm the mind into deep composure. Stabilize awareness. Put awareness on emptiness to gone beyond. Freely train in all spiritual bodiless techniques in order to be liberated from constructs like time, space, energy, matter, and self-mind. Train in mastering the yogic perception of appearances beyond appearances and empty clear light thought patterns. Realize the non-duality of full samadhi and post-meditation, non-meditation practice. Space, the nature of mind, is the pure light of dharmata, revealed to its depths. Wakefulness is knowing that the grace of peace is spiritual. True dharmata is without materiality. It is enlightened space, pure and difficult to fathom. It is the wakeful grace of luminous space. This continuity is known as realizing the burn of selflessness. Om Ma Dhammata Dharma is mother. The mother is everything transcended. Emptiness is reality. Dharmata means that all dharmas are therefore empty of nature and any characteristics. All phenomena arise from this emptiness of mind, which realizes the precious non-duality of all dharmas and dharmata. 
Dharma, the sacred thing. Dharmata, reality is emptiness. The view is realization, undistracted Buddha wisdom mind. The viewer is a sentient Buddha being. The view is not here or elsewhere. The view is unbiased or pervasiveness, free from center and edge down and up here and nowhere. Mind essence is uncontrived. The mind is always primordially present within. Such is a critical point of non-duality of viewed and viewer. True meditation is thought free dhammata. Relax and melt body and mind. Disappear into ordinary mind essence, realizing meditator and meditation as indivisible. Free from words and speech, Dhammata is free of consciousness awareness. True meditation is free of the thought of self-image mind world and words. Fruition is the mindless three kayas. The selfless attainer is the Hugon mind that intends to realize them. Everything empty is Hugon Dharmakaya. Experiencing complex cognizance is Hugh, transcended some Bogakaya. The play of awareness, manifesting in manifold ways of non production and non extinction is the amazing Hugh Niamanakaya. All realization is within and always present as the already gone voidness of the hues who nature. Fruition is present right now. It is nowness and the no object to be attained. Everything is the continuous nature of the potential of one's zero mind, the seal of secret, sacred treasure, its concealment and entrustment, the initiation, transmission, and realization. Om, ah, hewing, body, speech, and mind. Everywhere is a retreat place. Here lives no mind, the hermit meditator. The bodily form is near Manakaya, seen as unsubstantial, not of material substance. Mind is not myriad thought formations, but is Dharmakaya, remaining lucid and thought free, clear light, like the ever burning flame of a butter lamp. Dhammakaya is always mysteriously, perfectly still. Oh, Zal!